Congratulations! You are now in charge of our state agency's grants programs. I'm sure you are going to do great. I must make it. I must know the secret to becoming the best grants manager the state of North Carolina has ever seen. Whew. I'm so glad I found you. Please tell me, oh wise one, what must I do to become the greatest grants manager ever? To begin, you must enumerate your intentions. Huh? To find your programs, first you must define your grant programs. Oh, okay. I can do that. What else? A great grants manager leads others to knowledge. You mean, like I should bring everyone here to meet you? I'd rather you didn't. I was thinking that you would provide training and guidance to the grant recipients to make sure they understand the rules and requirements of your grant program. Oh, I get it. Next, you must visualize the perils faced by recipients and then operationalize your examination of progress in the face of said perils. Uh, operationalize the examination... Uh, I think I should have brought a pen with me. You need to consider what risks grant recipients face in meeting the requirements of the grants. Have a process to collect information on your grant recipient's activities and performance, so you can monitor how they are spending the grant funds. The higher risk the grant recipient is, the more monitoring requirements and measures you might need. And make sure, if the grant recipient is going to give some of your grant funds to sub-recipients, they have their own monitoring requirements to make sure sub-recipients are also managing the grant funds correctly. Wow. Okay. What if I do all that and find out that they aren't doing what they're supposed to with the grant money? Ah, wise question indeed, Grasshopper. We call that non-compliance. When there is non-compliance, you must take action to get the recipient to take corrective steps. Give them a time frame to correct the issues. All of that should be spelled out when the grant is awarded in the grant contract and training you provide to grant recipients. Okay, so let's say they spend all the grant money and I have the documentation I need to show they did it correctly. Now what? You must begin with the end in mind. I mean, you need a plan for closing out the grant. For example, tell the grant recipients what the end dates are, what happens to unspent grant funds, and the final reporting requirements. Gotcha! I need to, one, define the agency grant programs. Two, plan training and assistance to grant recipients so they know what to do. Three, have a way to assess risks to the success of the grantee. Four, have a procedure to monitor grant recipients. And five, if there are sub-recipients, make sure they are monitored too. Six, have a plan for how to handle non-compliance. And seven, have a plan for closing out the grant. I think I can handle that. Is there anything else? Yes. You must submit your grant monitoring plan with all those pieces to the North Carolina Office of State Budget and Management. State agencies must submit their grant monitoring plans to OSBM. OSBM, got it. Thank you so much for sharing your wisdom with me, Mr. Grants Guru. It was so worth it to climb up that mountain to learn about the parts of a good grants program. You didn't need to climb up the mountain to learn that. You can find all that information and more on the OSBM website. OSBM website? Something tells me this trip won't be eligible for a travel reimbursement from my agency. <laughs>